On today's video, we're gonna tell you all about the next booming city in the Raleigh, North Carolina area, Fuquay, Verena, North Carolina. So Fuquay, Verena is a city south of Raleigh that's seen a tremendous amount of growth over the past few years, and the best is yet to come. This town has a tremendous amount of future potential. Fuquay, Verena is located about 33 minutes south of downtown Raleigh, and best of all, you can get from downtown Fuquay, Verena to downtown Holly Springs in only about 11 minutes. Currently, the population of Fuquay, Verena is coming in at about 47,000 people. And let me tell you, although that sounds like a relatively small number, Fuquay, Verena has made huge growth strides over the past few years. Just 14 months ago, we made a video about Fuquay, Verena, and we did, went into full detail about the area. And since then, in the last 14 months, Fuquay Verena has grown by 5,000 additional residents. And just five years ago, there were only 30,000 residents in Fuquay Verena. And so if I can take my shoes off and do the math, that appears to be 17,000 people have moved into Fuquay Verena in the last five years. And according to worldpopulationreview.com, over the next five years, you can expect Fuquay Verena to grow to 62,000 residents. So bottom line of all of this, lots of people are moving into Fuquay Verena and it's a really, really big deal. So that begs the question, why is Fuquay Verena seeing such dramatic growth and really one of the fastest growing cities in the Raleigh, North Carolina area? Well, the first reason why Fuquay Verena is so popular, it has plenty of space. Surrounding Fuquay Verena is a lot of farmland, a lot of forests. So there's plenty of room for the city to continue growing and growing and growing. It's not like Los Angeles where there's ocean and mountains and all that sort of thing, kind of blocking things in. Fuquay Verena has the opportunity to continue growing for many, many years. Another great reason why people are so attracted to Fuquay Verena, it really still retains that small town charm that is so fleeting in our area. Unfortunately, if you want small town America, you can still find it in Fuquay Verena. Another reason why Fuquay Verena is so popular, it's still affordable relative to the rest of the triangle. The median home price for a home in Fuquay Verena is currently coming in at $455,000. That's compared to $650,000 in Holly Springs and $615,000 in Apex. Now we should interject here that $455,000 as a median price sounds like a lot, but you should know that that number skewed a bit. There's so much new construction going on in Fuquay Verena that it's got the average median price up higher than you really would expect if you just stripped away all the new construction stuff. So if you are looking for a resale home, expect that your median home price is gonna be much lower than that 455,000. Another great reason why so many people are flocking to Fuquay Verena, you buy one city and you get the second city for free. So this is a story that we've told many times on this channel. There once long ago was two cities, the city of Fuquay Springs and the city of Verena. They decided to merge together and create Fuquay Verena. But when they did that, they still retained two downtowns. So you get to go and enjoy the downtown of Fuquay and the downtown of Verena. It's a win-win. And best of all, you can get from one downtown to the other in only about five minutes. So let's talk about the Fuquay downtown. And admittedly, I'm a bit biased. It is one of my favorite places in all of the Raleigh Triangle area. And in fact, in all of North Carolina. And that's speaking a lot because I come from the coast of North Carolina. But downtown Fuquay is super, super cool. I've taken many, 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 many clients to Vicious Fishes in downtown Fuquay while we're out looking at houses in Fuquay. Verena and I've never had a bad meal there. But beyond Vicious Fishes, there's also some really cool shopping in downtown Fuquay. The Shops on Main is there, which has about 30 little specialty stores, kind of really cool to go through and explore. As well, K and B's Marketplace is an antique store in downtown Fuquay. If you're needing to get a coffee fix, Cultivate Coffee Roasters is downtown. In fact, they're right beside Vicious Fishes. And if you are not on a diet, the Sticky Buns at Stick Boy Bread Company cannot be missed. These are some of the best Sticky Bun sweet things you could even imagine. I'm dying right now inside as I report this to you because yes, I'm still on a diet. And after you've got your caffeine fix and your sugar fix, you can go drink water from the Fuquay Mineral Springs 
to get some of the healing attributes, or at least allegedly healing attributes, that come from the springs in Fuquay. We can't forget the Verena downtown as well. The main thing to do in downtown Verena, it appears, is go drink beer. The Aviator Tap House is in downtown Verena, along with all of the other aviator companies down there, including the Aviator Pizza and Beer Shop, among many, many others. So very cool things going on in downtown Verena, as well as downtown Fuquay. And by the way, you can also get specialty teas and spices and olive oils from Fuquay Spice and Tea Company in downtown Verena. So another reason so many people are flocking to Fuquay Verena, and we've touched on it a bit in in this video and that is there's lots and I do mean lots of new construction going on in Fuquay Verena. Over the past 12 months looking at both closed and under contract properties in Fuquay Verena a whopping 56% of those homes were new construction. This is one of the highest percentages in all of the Triangle area and as much of Raleigh and Cary and even now Apex has been built out you're starting to see more and more builders focus on Fuquay Verena and more and more home buyers doing the same. So that because there's so much focus on Fuquay Verena amongst all the builders out there it has resulted in a ton of new construction communities sprouting up all the time in Fuquay Verena and more and more are planned all the time. And our team has helped over 20 families move to the Fuquay Verena area and help them buy a home just over the past year. It's a very, very popular area for new construction homes. So if you're curious about a new construction home in Fuquay Verena yourself, reach out to us, we'll be happy to help. So what's it like to live in Fuquay Verena? Well, frankly, you may feel a little bit isolated from the rest of the Triangle community. As we said, it's about 33 minutes from downtown Fuquay Verena to downtown Raleigh. It's also about 30 to 40 minutes to get from Fuquay Verena to Research Triangle Park. The good news is Interstate 540 is going to be opening any day now. There was a bit of a delay due to the excessive amount of rains we had in August. It was already supposed to be open by the time you see this video. But anyway, it was delayed, but this Interstate 540 add-on that's going to happen is going to make it very, very much easier for people in Fuquay Verena and Garner and South Raleigh to get to just about anywhere in the Triangle very, very quickly. So the isolation that a lot of people experience in Fuquay Verena could very well be a thing of the past. Next up, let's talk about the shopping experience you have in Fuquay Verena. We talked about a little bit of the independent shops that are in the downtowns earlier in this video, but we can't talk about shopping in the Fuquay Verena area without bringing up Costco. So Costco opened up about three years ago on the border between Garner and Fuquay Verena. So it's super easy if you live in Fuquay Verena to get to the Costco. It has tons of stuff. We've talked about this Costco before. It has merchandise that the other Costco's in Raleigh and Durham don't have. Plus, you've got a Starbucks out front, a Chick-fil-A, and of course, the famous Costco gas station. Definitely worth your time and trouble if you live in the Fuquay Verena or Garner area to get a Costco membership and shop there regularly. As far as grocery stores go, Fuquay Verena's got you covered on that end as well. There's Harris Teeter, Food Lion, Aldi and Walmart grocery stores among many others. But the big shopping news we need to share with you is Gold Leaf Crossing Shopping Center is currently under construction in Fuquay Verena and is going to bring many many more shops and restaurants and things to do to the Fuquay Verena area. We're very excited about this opening up. We will definitely do a video on Gold Leaf Crossing as soon as it opens up. Next up let's talk about the restaurants in Fuquay Verena. So beyond the regular chain restaurants that you would expect to find in any town there's a good number of independent shops that we like to brag about we've already talked about stick boy bakery with their sticky buns there's also Cow Sen Thai Restaurant, the Mason Jar Tavern, Aviator Smokehouse, Daddy D's Barbecue, and of course, Vicious Fishes in downtown Fuquay. These are just a few of the restaurants that you can find in the Fuquay Verena area, but it's definitely a good start. Go check out all of these. You will not be disappointed. So other than eating and shopping, which really admittedly are two really cool hobbies, what other things are there to do in Fuquay Verena? Well, for starters, there's Happy's Country Club. This is in downtown Fuquay Verena. They have golf simulators, darts, 
a lounge with local brews. Incidentally, they have four different golf simulators. We hear this place is a really, really fun place to hang out. They have individual and team play. They even have league play and private lessons here. Another really great thing to do is visit Fuquay Mineral Springs Park. This is a historic park that is centered around the original springs where Fuquay Springs got its name. You can also visit local breweries. Nothing wrong with that. There's the Fainting Goat Brewing Company, the Mason jar lager company and of course the world famous aviator brewing if you need to get a little art and culture in your life there's the fuquay verena art center they have live performances a local art gallery and art classes for all ages and lastly of course there's plenty of stuff to do in the great outdoors such as the lakes the trails the parks and many many other outdoor activities centered around the fuquay verena area so what can we expect is going to be happening in Fuquay Verena's future. Well, clearly, if the recent past is any indication, you're gonna continue seeing more and more and more growth going on in Fuquay Verena as more and more people move in. This means more restaurants, more things to do, and more shopping centers. And we touched on it earlier, but with the new Interstate 540 section opening up very, very soon, it's going to mean Fuquay Verena isn't as isolated feeling as it is currently. It's gonna open up a lot more opportunities for people that live in Fuquay Verena to go and hang out or go to dinner or go shopping in many other parts of the Raleigh Triangle area. The bottom line about Fuquay Verena's future, it seems to be a great area to invest in, especially if you want to invest in a city that has a lot of growth potential. So these are all really good reasons why you may want to consider Fuquay Verena. Let's flip the coin and look at reasons why you may not want to consider Fuquay Verena for your next home. Reason number one, if you like the hustle and bustle of a city, like the downtown vibe of Durham or Raleigh, then frankly, Fuquay Verena is not for you. It's the small town America that we talked about earlier in this video. And frankly, again, even though 540 is opening up very soon, you may likely feel a bit isolated living in Fuquay Verena. So by and large, people generally do not go to like downtown Raleigh or other places than Triangle currently. They would more likely go out in Fuquay Verena or in Holly Springs. So bottom line, if a lot of dining options and shopping options are important for you, you may have to wait a while if you move to Fuquay Verena as things continue to grow. Which also brings up another thing that might deter you from moving to Fuquay Verena, and that is if you're not interested in living in an area that is having a lot of growth and a lot of construction going on. Not everyone is happy about all of the growth that's going on in Fuquay Verena. There's roads being torn up, there's neighborhoods sprouting up where there used to be farms, and that's causing a lot of consternation among some people that don't wanna see that kind of rapid growth. So if you want real really, really small town America, Fuquay Arena may not be a good fit for you because it may be growing too fast. Another reason you may not want to consider Fuquay Verena, if the home prices in Fuquay Verena have gotten too out of reach for you. Now again, we talked about earlier, the median home price in Fuquay Verena is 455,000, but that's very much skewed by new construction numbers. Resale is not quite as bad as 455,000, but even then, if Fuquay Verena is out of reach for you, then give us a shout. There's some other options that may work really, really well for you in the Triangle area, such as Garner, Clayton, or Lillington. And another reason why Fuquay Verena may not be a good fit for you, if you're looking for high-end luxury homes, there's unfortunately not a lot of those in Fuquay Verena. You may have to look elsewhere, such as Apex, Cary, or Raleigh. So if the idea of moving to Fuquay Verena interests you, contact us at the information below. We'll be happy to help you out. Check out this video. We think you're really gonna like this one as well. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.